Guys, so I wanted to record a, a video just based on the market at the moment because uh, we are in a, a crucial stage of the market, which is kind of like confirming the, uh, the the continuation of the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency bull run. Uh, we're going to see, uh, I believe we're going to see a huge altcoin season uh, with the way Bitcoin dominance is looking at the moment as well. So that's something to look out for. And obviously, um, we, you know, if you if you look at a lot of videos on uh, on the internet. Uh, or on YouTube, uh, everyone's talking about the fact that we are potentially on uh, or going to be seeing the final leg of this uh, this cryptocurrency bull run. All right, guys, uh, potentially the uh, the fifth wave or the uh, you know let's just say the final leg of the uh, of the bull market, the four year uh, the four year bull market, uh, which is potentially coming to an end um, on the next leg up. Okay, guys, so a lot of people are talking about taking profits um the time frames vary you know some people are saying you know september october some people are saying um you know beginning of next year all right guys but one thing is for sure is that the bull run um or you know uh, we're not out of the woods yet okay we need to see uh, what happens over the next let's say the next week or two um you know i do expect a pullback um so you know it's not about rushing in to positions at the moment i mean me personally i was taking profits on the last leg okay and i sat through several weeks of the bear market okay guys uh, i jumped back in prematurely um decided to kind of come out and take some very small or, or, or some huge losses in some cases because all coin pullbacks are are no joke right but uh ultimately it's about protecting your capital and um being able to have something ready for the next leg up. Okay, guys, so now I feel like it's the best time to start potentially buying in, of course, on a pullback, um, Bitcoin, Ethereum, so on. Okay, guys, now, you know, sometimes waiting it out, might you, you might feel like you're losing out on gains. Okay, but it's always good to kind of take some profit and um, look for better entries. And sometimes that entry, the better entry might not always be uh, uh the pullback sometimes the the better entry might be the confirmation of the new breakout okay guys so it's, it's psychological because you might feel, feel like wow look at this massive move that ethereum has made uh, for those of you that are holding you know uh, this isn't for you but for those that may uh, be apprehensive about getting in uh, because a lot of people would have got shaken out of the market let's face it right uh, right about now a lot of people would have been shaken out of the market and um a lot of people are probably um, fearful of jumping back into the market. But, you know, I believe that, uh, you know, over the next couple of days, uh, we're going to see some very strong confirmations. We've got one already. We've got the higher high. OK, we need to see a higher low um, because the bear market could still continue. Um, but it's it's more probable that it will, uh, uh, you know, uh, discontinue. OK, and we, we're potentially seeing a trend reversal now and a confirmation of a continuation of the uptrend for cryptocurrency as a whole uh, obviously looking at the uh, historical chart uh, history as well uh, it would suggest that there is another leg up for bitcoin and cryptocurrency and the whole market as a whole we see institutions are extremely ever more bullish we're seeing uh, people like elon musk and tesla and spacex investing into bitcoin and michael saylor and people like that we're seeing a lot more development we're seeing regulations potentially coming in we're seeing all sorts okay so uh i think that you know we're gonna hit a very crucial time and you know it's it, it we we could be uh seeing the ultimate profit taking uh, uh opportunity uh, in the legs leg up okay now some people are planning to buy lambos and all that sort of stuff you know everyone's uh planning to kind of spend their money in a very unwise fashion um i'm not oh you know i like lambos i like lambos but i mean me personally uh i don't think a lambo would fit well on my driveway at the moment it's too sporty it's too much you know too high maintenance and i don't have a garage okay guys so i won't be buying a lambo me personally i'm a porsche guy I think, let's see if you guys can see this I'm a Porsche guy, right? Okay, so I've got, I've, I've already got my Lambo or whatever it is that you want to buy. I've, I've already got a Porsche. Okay, guys, so I'm going to be looking at buying more property. Okay, uh, reinvesting, diversifying capital into property, sitting out the uh, potential bear market that's coming after the next leg up. And, um, 
yeah, preparing to, to accumulate in the next in the next bear market. That's where a lot of money is going to made. A lot of people are new in crypto at the moment. They haven't been through a bear market yet. And, um, you know, a lot of people made a lot of money um, or, or those that managed to sit through the last bear market and kind of understand the market and learn how to accumulate. They would have made a lot of money in this, even, even just this previous one alone. OK, so another leg up is probably going to take some people to, you know, a different level of, uh, of, of their wealth. All right, guys. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to being able to accumulate uh, in the very next uh, bear market. And, you know, you can get excited about a bear market, guys. You can get excited about a bear market. The only thing that's going against you is time, right? It's time because, you know, we never know when our last day is going to be on the earth. Okay, guys, that's why, you know, I, you know, I'm very spiritual, you know, I'm a born again believer in Jesus Christ. And, you know, you know, for those of you that have been following me on the channel, you know, I'm not ashamed to share my faith. But I think you always have to uh, consider that uh, time is one of those things as of, uh, of the essence. Timing is very important in crypto. Okay, so when the next bear market comes along, that's when uh, you, you can take everything that you've learned now and reapply it. OK, guys, so even if you don't do, you know, as well as you wanted to do in this run. OK, guys, what it's about uh, doing is securing some profits. You have to learn to lock in profits because profit taking is a skill. OK, um, what people like to do is they, they they say that people who take profits are, are weak hands. Uh, people that hold or huddle are diamond hands. And uh, I mean, this is this isn't poker. OK, this is not poker. Nobody. There is a saying that nobody ever got fired from Wall Street for taking profits. OK, guys, so you have to take profits. You have to lock in profits. OK, guys, that's that's the most important thing about investing. We're not in this to 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 collect fun. I mean, you know, OK, NFTs are here now. You know, there's people collecting and stuff like that. But ultimately, we're not in crypto to play games and to have a laugh. OK, we're in this to make profit. Anyone that tells you otherwise is kind of deluded okay the, the the whole point of you investing into crypto is to create uh a, a, a revenue stream okay wealth investment all right guys and um that looks uh many different ways to many different people okay um huddling or collecting crypto the long-term goal is to accumulate wealth okay because and, and you know some people obviously believe that crypto will be the ultimate uh, uh legal tender you know cash Money will all be replaced. I don't believe that the banks are going to re uh, be replaced. My arms are getting tired. I don't believe that... Let's just try to sit this here. Like that. I don't believe that the banks are going anywhere. Okay? Um, I mean, they will integrate with cryptocurrency. But uh, cash is king. Uh, the banking system, the British Banking Association and whatever, the, you know, the SEC and... You know, uh, all those kind of organizations, they run things, okay, guys? And um, they are not going anywhere. Um, we're always going to have these organizations there. And uh, nothing's really going to change, in in my opinion, okay? They will begin to integrate crypto. They will begin to regulate crypto. They will begin to accept crypto more. But these things are not going away, all right, guys? It's about using the knowledge that you've gained over these years or, or months, for some of you, to your advantage and knowing, you know what? What is the best way to uh, 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 to accumulate wealth, you know, and uh, to accumulate wealth and hold on to it? Uh, you, you cannot be uh, a full on rebel. OK, uh, you have to pay your taxes. You have to uh, um, com comply with uh, uh, money laundering regulations and all that sort of stuff. Sometimes you have to do KYC, all that sort of stuff. OK, we understand that privacy is a good thing and it has its use case. All right, guys. But um your cash out plan is going to involve KYC with a bank. So when some people frown on, you know, doing KYC, um, it's a bit, you know, like laughable, to be honest, sometimes. OK, but, you know, I do understand it. I do understand why people would not want to do it, especially if you are in certain countries. Uh, uh, but, you know, I, I live in the UK. OK, guys, and you can't do anything without having some sort of accountability some sort of trail. I mean, for me to buy more property, like I said, you know, I need to, I need to prove where my profits are coming from. You know, I can't, I can't even put a deposit down on a property without explaining, uh, you know, in one way or another to some sort of solicitor 
where the money came from. Even if I borrowed money from a grandma or something like that, they want to know where the grandma got that money from. So there's a lot of scrutiny when it comes to um, progressing uh, in this world. And, um, you know, we have to kind of play by the rules if we want to, uh, um, you know, go anywhere um, uh, legitimately uh, in the long term. Okay, guys? So, yeah, I think uh, it's just food for thought. I think we really need to think about what the cash out plan is, um, how you're going to uh, uh, hold on to your wealth, uh, what you're going to do to uh, put your money to work and so on, uh, how you're going to spend uh, the money that you've earned in crypto. I mean, if you're in this just for the short term and your plan was just to buy a new car or buy that Lambo or whatever, you know, then, then fair play. At the end of the day, we're, we're all at different stages of life. Some of us are younger than others. My birthday is actually coming up next Saturday. I'm going to be uh, 37 years old. And, um, you know, at the stage of life that I'm at, I've, I've already done all that young stuff. I've seen a lot of money come and go. And, um, you know, I've, I've got regrets. I've got regrets of how I invested money in the past. Um, you know, what I did with my disposable income in the past, all that sort of thing. I've got regrets. Okay, guys, and it's about learning from mistakes. It's about building a future because, you know, right now, I'm, I don't just think about myself. You can see I've got a car seat in the back. I've got a child. I've got a wife. Okay, guys, so... When it comes to uh, uh, spending money, I do it wisely. Even buying something like this, this this is Porsche McCann. Um, buying something like this, it's, it's, a, it's a company car, okay? I have a company. Um, you know, it makes sense. Uh, in terms of holding on to um, uh, my capital, it, made, it makes sense uh, in a way that I buy this car, I buy it through the company, okay? Um, so therefore I get tax breaks, um, um, on that cash. All right, guys, it's a business expense. I need a car potentially for meetings or, or, or for whatever. Okay, guys. So it's always good to have a financial advisor, an accountant, all that sort of stuff to have accountability and someone who can kind of guide you and, 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 and help you to make good decisions with how to spend your money. All right, guys. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to, to do a quick video, something different. All right, guys, I see this is a trend going on YouTube nowadays, you know, with crypto content, YouTube influencers sitting in their car doing a little video. Okay, guys, I don't show you this uh, sort of thing to show off. It's, it's to inspire. It's to kind of give you some food for thought. Okay, guys, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's all good to have some fun. Uh, you got to live a little, uh, what's it, spend a little, save a little, uh, invest a little all right, guys, that's the best way to manage money. And none of us are experts. That's where we get these financial advisors and accountants and all that sort of thing. We get tax lawyers and all that sort of thing because we need help sometimes to make good decisions, especially when you're someone like myself who didn't come from a family that were wealthy, all right? So we're trying to create, we're, we're, we're trying to create uh, uh, something new for our families and we want something to leave to our families we don't want this to be all for nothing okay guys so yeah i just wanted to leave you with that all right guys let me know if you like this kind of content um if you are not subscribed to the channel do me a favor and subscribe uh if you like the video it helps with the algorithm guys and uh, if you leave a comment i will always try to read it and um, that also helps with the algorithm it shows that people are engaging with the content youtube begins to recommend the content to other people that wouldn't have seen it otherwise all right guys so uh that's it for now. Make sure you lock in some profits and make sure you invest your money wisely and keep some on the sidelines for the next bear market. All right, guys. But uh, in the meantime, right now, you'll see more from me um, in terms of this actual bull run. So um, that being said, Bitcoin to the moon, altcoins to the moon. Let's do it. Out.